Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tiny Blue Games. My name, of course, is CSR Chris, and today we're talking about Guild Wars 2. Now, many of you might know of a video series that I started a really long time ago that was focused on the Guild Wars 2 markets and playing the markets and making some money um, and just mostly understanding the economy a bit more. It was a very well-received video, and I had big plans to make some videos right away after it, but I got busy, and you know how I am, guys. I didn't make a video about it in a really long time. So, the wait is finally over. <laughs> I'm going to be making a video, and I, I'm i going to, like, apologize right away, because it's, like, 1 a.m. where I am right now, and I'm sorry if I'm a little bit tired. Um, but we're gonna do this. I'm feeling strong. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm like, I'm not too tired, but I'm not too awake either. It's a nice, I'm feeling ready to, to record some stuff. So what we're gonna talk about is the three websites we talked about in the first video. And I will link the first video in case you've forgotten about it because it's been that long and I'm an idiot. Just say it, you know, just say it in the comments. You're an idiot, Chris. Get it over with. Just psh, toss it out there. I'll take it. I read each one of those comments. I'll take it. I'll even like it. You know what? There. I'll like it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, so we've talked about three website, two websites, um, Guild Wars 2 Wiki and Guild Wars 2 Spidey. These websites are useful because they allow us to know stuff about the market and stuff about the actual items on the market. Guild Wars 2 Wiki is a wiki website that'll give us a bunch of information. Um, and we're going to use it to find out how we can salvage ectoplasms um, into crystalline piles of, or piles of crystalline dust. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Chris, man, I, I'm pretty sure you've already made a video based on that entire idea. And yes, yes, I have. That was actually a video I made a year and a half ago, and it was very well received. It was actually probably one of the videos that really made me want to start making YouTube videos for Guild Wars 2. And it's kind of a nice memory to do it based on this, but the reason we're doing and readdressing this, uh, this experiment is because I think it would be the perfect opportunity to do some basic um, market stuff with um, a very easy example. So what I have here is the Guild Wars 2 wiki page, and you can get this page um, just by typing in glob of ectoplasm to the search bar. And what it's going to tell you is it's going to tell you everything you need to know about globs of ectoplasm in Guild Wars 2. It tells you how to acquire them, it tells the, you that they need to be uh, rares or better that you salvage, and they have to be level 68 or above, and then you have a certain percentage chance to get globs of ectoplasm. You can get from 0 to 3 each time you salvage them, and you're most commonly going to get... Um, you're most commonly going to get one. I find it very interesting that, you know, getting two and getting three apparently are pretty similar to each other, which is kind of not what I've experienced, but whatever. Whatever. It also shows you other ways you can get it through achievements, through bags, through weird gambling merchants that we might do another video on, and I might lose all my money and you might laugh at me or whatever. Um, salvaging is what we want to talk about next, though. So what we're going to be doing in this video, and if you haven't seen the other video, maybe I'll link it to you. It's going to be a bunch of videos linked in the description, whatever. You just you just watch me for a good hour. That, that sounds like a good use of your time. Um, what it's going to be is salvaging ectoplasms gives you a chance to get one to five piles of crystalline dust. And right away, the whole idea behind it is that if we get a certain amount of crystalline dust per ectoplasm, we can make money. And I'll talk about the numbers later because we'll look at that on Guild Wars 2 Spidey and I'll write stuff down. The other thing we want to talk about is the fact that you also get a byproduct of luck from this. Now the reason this is a very important topic is because we have an expansion that's going to be released in five days in case you haven't heard of it. I mean a lot of people don't know but there is a, a Guild Wars 2 expansion coming and it's actually a pretty big thing apparently. So <laughs> I'm just kidding of course I'm like super super excited but a lot of people want to get their magic find up for raids and for world events so that they can get you know better chances to get some really nice gear and this this includes me i've been trying to get as much luck as i can i've only got like a hundred percent magic find now um and it's taking forever so this is a really good way to work on that 
So we've talked about Guild Wars 2 Wiki, and you can learn more if you want to read some lore of Guild Wars 2, or I don't know, of ectoplasms or something. Um, but we're going to move to the Guild Wars 2 Spidey. I, I, I jumped the gun here and went to Guild Wars 2 Shinies, but really it's Guild Wars 2 Spidey we're going to talk about. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to type in ecto, and we're going to see that there's glob of ectoplasm right there. And we can see all the market information down here. Now I like to take out the raw data and I like to take out the volumes just to make it really easy to see. And I like to stretch this back probably to the start of September, so around a month and a half. And what you can see is this shows you the price of both buying and selling um, ectoplasms on the market. And the most important thing to note is that A, it's kind of evened out um, as far as in October goes. And also what the maximum and minimums you kind of be want to be looking at when you're buying them. Just so you can have an idea, like if it's super inflated this month and you don't want to at all deal with it, you know, stuff to pay attention to. Uh, but just looking back and forth here, I'd say the absolute minimum we're like looking for is probably 37 silver. Uh, and by minimum, I mean that's like if we see 37 silver for an ectoplasm, we want to buy as many as we can get our hands on. Um, and then the maximum is 43. And we don't want to buy any of them if there's 43. But anywhere in between there, we'll buy a certain amount, which is yet to be determined. Um, the other thing we want to look at on this website, and I'll just come back here, is the crystalline dust piles. And you can actually just type in dust, because I'm too lazy to type in like that big long word. And we're going to go to piles of crystalline dust. And we're going to check out the things that we wanted again here. And what we're going to notice, I'm sorry, I'm going to pull this back again. Just, I did it too much. July, September. Um, we'll notice a couple things. A, we'll notice that the prices had rised and then stabilized again, just like the Ectos did, um, showing that there is a huge cor correlation between the two um, the two crafting materials, which would make a lot of sense because of what I'm about to do, obviously. Um, it also shows us that prices have dipped down a bit here, and it, you know, it's not the best thing, but they're pretty, like, let's, we'll do the max and min thing. That's what I like to do before I go and buy stuff on the auction house all the time, and that's kind of what I'm trying to teach you in this video. Um, you see that the maximum is 23 that we're looking at anywhere on here, and that's sell listings, buy listings 22-ish, and the minimum is like 20, so we want to be selling it for above 20 for sure, um, and as close to 23 as we can, since we're going to be the seller. If we were buying it, we'd want to buy it as close to 20 as we could. Um, I think that's all I want to do with this website. There was one last website I wanted to talk about, and you can access it from Guild Wars 2 Wiki here, and you can see there's external links for both Guild Wars 2 Spidey and Guild Wars 2 Shinies, which is a new website that I've kind of been using a bit more. Um, if I get, you know, the ha hang of it and really enjoy it more than, uh, Guild Wars 2 Spidey, I might uh, make a video sort of showing the benefits of it, but that's yet to be determined as well. But mostly it shows you the same kind of thing, like we can check off what we did last time. It's like almost the exact same graph, really. It's, you know, kind of a bit more wavy. Um, but the really nice thing about this one is that you can um, sort of put a watch on the Ectos, and then if you go to your watch page, it'll show you like all the uh, commodities that you like to look at. So it's kind of like you know, in stock apps, how you can have all the stocks you're very interested in looking at right on the front screen. It's kind of like that, which is very nice for people who just like to check um, in-game really quickly. So I feel like this part of the video has gone on for a while, so I'm going to push it to the next one where we actually start um, buying the stuff in-game. So I will see you there. All right, so now that we've looked at some research and we've looked at uh, some websites online to see what kind of prices we should be looking for, we can get into our game and we can check out the actual market or the Black li uh, Lion Trading Company. So we'll head to the trading post and here we'll look at two things. We're gonna look at first the glob of ectoplasm and second the pile of crystalline dust. So the glob of ectoplasm is really the most important part because if you buy them cheap and then sell them for more, um, you'll make money anyway. So the dust part isn't essential to it. If you, you know, found that the price of crystalline dust had gone down a ton 
over the last like the next few days after this you could just sell the ectos and you wouldn't be any worse off so if you buy ectos for cheap it's it's a win either way now we looked at the prices online and we kind of know the ballpark that we're looking for which is you know between between 38 and 42 uh, 42 being the absolute highest that it would go um, looking at the buy orders which we're going to make a buy order if you're ever making money don't just you know spend the time because when you're making money time isn't a factor you can have your buy order or your sell order sitting for a long time um, it's not worth being instantaneous unless you need the money now for some reason so we're looking at the buy orders and you can see here that there's one for 41 and then it drops down a huge amount to 40 drops down to 38 and drops down to 37.94 but it also tells you how many have been ordered at this price so what I like to do is I like to go down until I kind of find a stopping point. And generally I place my stopping point around a thousand. So looking down here at the 845 for 3791, that looks like a place where it's going to stop for a while. Um, which I mean, like it's probably not going to drop below that just because of how many there are at that price level. And after that, there's also a huge amount at each one. Like if you dropped further, there's a 500. So we're going to want to stop before the 845, um, but what we're also going to want to stop and just take note of is how much it's dropping each time. So here you see it drops a huge amount. So there's no reason you would order them for 4188. That's just, that's stupid. That's like an extra silver 88 for no reason. Here it drops a whole two or two silver just for like waiting for 28 of them. Um, and then we started getting it into the... Uh, more well this one's still like a fair bit it was well, it's six i mean that's i mean we're talking about six copper so it's it's really your choice here i like to stack on top of an order that already has a lot of them so here there's an order for 10 already and this is a really good price point because i feel like it's going to cut through these really quickly so i'm going to click on that one and i'm going to order as many as i can just 250 they're 37 94. so we're going to get 250 of them for 37 silver and 94 copper each and we're going to place our order and now we're going to wait for a really long time or a short time depending on how the market plays out um, what i like to do is i well you can already see here like it's dropped down a significant amount so we're getting pretty close to where we were um, but what i like to do is i like to place my orders in the morning and then sort of check when i get home from work or school or whatever and see if it's there it's kind of a fun way to spice up your gaming life is just sort of see if things sell while you're either asleep or at school um, but the the other reason for this is i find that prices are quite low in the morning and the reason for this is because there's a lot more buying going on during the night and not as much farming or like actual gaming activity You'll find this on the weekend too, that after the weekend when there's been a lot more gaming activity, you know, say come sa uh, Sunday morning or something, the prices have jumped up again because there has been more gaming activity. So a general good thing to do is buy kind of middle of the week, early morning, and that's, that's when they're going to be pretty low. Uh, and then sell after the weekend, maybe like, you know, Saturday evening or Sunday morning, just checking the prices throughout the weekend. And that's a good way to go. So the other thing I said we were going to check, and it doesn't really matter yet, but we're going to check it right here, is just the uh, pile of crystalline dust price. So we see it's going for 21.64, and because of the research we've done, we know that it could be better or worse. Um, the, the good thing for this is that we can sort of wait until um, our Ectos come in, because we can't do anything with this yet. So we'll wait until our Ectos come in and check the price again, um, but I, I just like to keep an eye on the price. If we were to do it right now, we'd still maybe make money because of how low we bought the Actos. Um, so it, it's not a bad price. So I'll, I'll skip forward here to when I get the Actos back and we'll do our actual salvaging and look at the numbers we're getting. Alrighty, so we got our 250 Actos, we got our salvage kits, and we are ready to go. Um, wish me luck, hopefully we get pretty lucky here, but you never know, obviously. We saw from uh, the sites there that we should be expecting somewhere between maybe 250 of them, or 250 piles of dust and 300 piles of dust, but we'll find out. Uh, and you can see right away all the luck we're getting, like it's just flowing in. And on the side there, you can see I left it in here because I kind of like to, I don't like to skip it. You can see that we're getting a good range of some that give us one, some that give us three. I've even, got, I get a few that give us five. 
Uh, another thing this obviously does is it gives you achievements for um, the economy where you're uh, salvaging a bunch. So it, it uh, does a lot of things for you and it costs very little or makes you money, which is always a huge thing um, for people. So you can see here, we're almost gonna run out of inventory at the very end, but we actually do not. Um, we just have enough. And we end up getting 250 plus 206, um, which is 456. So we actually did not do very well. Because um, you saw we could do 280, um, 260. Um, and we the, the rule I generally use is if you got double, you for sure made money, right? Because um, if you're getting two from each uh, ectoplasm, you for sure made money, which would have been 500. So we're, we're a fair bit off of 500. But what does make us a fair bit of money is that we're actually able to sell them for a really nice price at 13 19 I'm actually going to drop it down to 18 to get the sales right away because um, just looking at it, there's a ton um, right below it. So there's, there's no reason to, to wait around. Um, but selling it for a good amount of money, we should be able to make money. Um, I will do the math in the uh, next section here just to finish it up and kind of wrap up what happened in the video. Alrighty, so let's do some very quick math here. So we started with 250 ectoplasms. We bought them for 37 silver and 94 copper. Um, if you do the multiplication there, we spent 94 gold and 85 silver. And what we resulted in getting was 456 piles of crystalline dust, which we ended up selling for 23 silver and 18 copper which got us a total of 105 gold and 70 silver. So it looks like we made profit already, but then we have to take into consideration the transaction fees on the, uh, the uh, trading post. So we have the 105 gold and 70 silver that we made from the selling of the crystalline dust, minus the 94 gold and 85 silver that we spent getting the ectoplasms, minus the 10.58 gold that we spent uh, putting things on the trading post. So this is the fee the trading post cost us, which is a pretty big amount, um, left us with a total profit of 27 silver, which seems very pathetic, really. But we have to remember a few things. We were actually quite unfortunate when it came to salvaging the Actos, as we only made 456, which is nowhere clear, close to, well, it's close to, but it's pretty far away still from the double point, which would have been 500. Um, to think that we could get between one and five from them. Um, obviously, five doesn't happen very often, but um, most often I find myself getting closer to two times our, our original value than we did here. Um, but the more important thing to draw conclusions to is that we made 27 silver, and we also made 25,950 luck. So we netted two things here with spending very little, um, and that's really what I want to drive home in this video is that, you know, it is it is a net positive even when you get unlucky. Um, it's very unlikely that you're going to lose a lot of money and there's just a lot of different things that you gain by doing this. So I think this was a successful video. Um, we showed how to use uh, two websites we've been using in this series. We showed it in a practical example that you can use in Guild Wars 2. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, I know it's long. Um, I'm going to try and make the next ones much shorter. Uh, and I always say that, but they'll always end up being long. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you want to keep on seeing these series, because obviously I do care. I just, I'm get, I just get very busy, and it takes me a while. But uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.